Yo guys, what is up and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this rainbow box and just in adventures all as well as after effects. Make sure you do subscribe and like as it does help out a lot. And also use my creator code which will be displayed on screen currently. And without further ado, let's hop into the video. So you're gonna be needing a couple you needing uh, some plugins, they're all linked in my Discord server in the hashtags plugin channel. I'll just go ahead and join that in the description below. But anyway, um yeah, let's get started. So go ahead and just search up blur mill curves actually we're gonna go ahead and hop into this infusion make sure you have the second clip layered after eight frames after the kill so go ahead and open this infusion add blur mill curves using control space and enter that effect in and uh keeping the z distance rotate shift x and shift y and um you're gonna keyframe the z distance set two rotate at eight uh and this at zero still and then put this at 1.8 and then you're gonna go about 25 frames you can just type it in here 25 and then uh keyframe this to z distance to one rotate zero zero and zero and make sure that it rotates also at zero and then go to the very end of the clip and then go one frame back so we don't get any black in this box transition and then just um keyframe all this and then go back to this keyframe over here on 25 frames and put this to 1.8 and sorry about that i mean two and then do that so now it's like this plays in quarter resolution oh and uh sorry i meant to put this at negative 1.8 so it comes in from the bottom and if you do want to come in from the top you just and it looks pretty linear right now, so go ahead and just go into spline, check all that, zoom out, select all that, put S to smooth it out, and T to change the value to 35, ease in 35, and ease out 35. And then, smooth, and go ahead and just go back into the edit page, and if your clips are not already delinked, just click the delink button, and alt, and while selecting clip and drag up you're gonna open this bottom one infusion and drag in the um the uh displaced cloud psycho um make sure your blur mode curves very important make sure the blur mode curves are the first effect in the um the um nodes so like this it should be exactly like this and it's gonna look weird uh because um nothing is under it go ahead and just switch swap these so drag this up and then drag this up, drag this down, drag this down. If you do not know what I just did, is I brought the uh, top layer to the bottom layer and then the bottom layer to the top layer, if that makes sense. Um, pretty much done, really nice and nice. Um, If you wanna see some full revs, well, that's what it looks like. But yeah. Anyway, um, let's get into the After Effects part. Okay, and now we are in the After Effects part. Uh, so go ahead and just place your clip 8 frames after the kill, and um, we're going to drag in um, SN underscore blur mode curves. So drag this in, you're going to keyframe the Z distance, uh, rotate, shift, X, and shift, Y, all right there, and go ahead and go 25 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25. You're going to put the Z distance. Uh, just keyframe all these again, actually, so drag, drop this down, effects, actually make sure that's that one, uh, just make all these keyframes right here, and then right here, go back to the very first thing, I'm gonna put these at 2, sorry, uh, yeah, 2, so rotate 8, uh, sorry, uh, negative 8, uh, and the shift Y at negative uh, 1. 1.8 uh, or just basically drag it down to uh, 1.8 so 18 in this case 180 sorry uh, okay so just drag it down to um you cannot see it and it's not visible so 1800 is what it is okay and then you're gonna go to 
right here you're gonna switch the key band to two and just like that then you're gonna go to the um the end of the clip right over here and then just go ahead and uh, make a keyframe that's one and then to easy easy is just go and select all these clips um, all these keyframes and put f9 and it should be a lot smoother a lot smoother and then just go ahead and duplicate the clip using ctrl c and ctrl v and use the bottom layer and apply the um rainbow displace effect and um once that is on you are all set for the after effects part very nice and smooth i can go ahead and just pre-render this real quick and you are done once you have done all that the after effects part is fairly simple anyway that was it for today's video and uh, make sure you do subscribe and like as well as um download everything uh you needed and see you guys in the next video